my question is, what would your advice be to a younger or older junior producer um, that is uh, trying to um, find a great mentor to be a protege to? Anybody. Join the Producers Guild. We have an amazing mentorship. Are you, are you a member of the Producers Guild? Unfortunately, I'm working my way up to getting the credit to being in the PGA. We have a mentoring program in the Guild, but it is only open to members to mentor them. So that's, that's what she's talking about. So are you a producer? Or are you a writer? Or are you a director? A uh, producer. A producer. Uh, I, I guess my question stems in the same way that um, Steven Spielberg um, uh, fostered Kathleen Kennedy. I can give you just my, my own experience. I was a newbie producer. I'd done one movie actually for Paramount, but it was um, my first time I'd ever been on a movie set and it was, I was a co-producer. But I, what I did was I started looking at credits at movies I loved and I saw this name keep coming up called Saul Zantz. And I literally called, cold called him and said, hey, my name is Laurie McCreary. I know you don't know me. Can I call you and ask you some questions about producing? I love the type of movies you do. And he, he probably had five or six phone calls with me before I ever met him in person at any type of event. And th that's what I did when I started out. I'd, I'd say uh, um, I, I think of producing as you have to come in with a skill set that you specialize at, in my opinion. You know, so if you come from the line production side, that's what you're bringing to the table. If you come from the side where you either have a relationship or you're very close with certain actors, that's what you're bringing to the table. Um, intellectual property is a way you can, you can come to the table. So I believe that if you focus on what is your value add, what is the type of, um, what are you bringing to the table sitting down with other producing partners, that's something you should hone in on. So trying to be the same, you know, one thing to everybody is tough. Find your specialty and then, like Lori said, if there's somebody out there that does that really well, just network, try to get to them, but, but get specialized at something. Okay, do you wanna add? Well, the, the, other, the other thing is too, is that I think most of us probably didn't start off being producers. You know, we started off doing something else. I was an agent. Then I was a studio executive, then I was a head of production, then I got fired and then I became a producer. <laughs> so, so, so it was, I mean, your journey with Sal Zantz, you weren't a producer overnight. It's very, you know, this, being a producer is a, is a, it's, it's a, it's a tricky thing. Now, people that are young can do it, but, but you have to be the, um, you have to be the, um, you have to you have to be the, the the person who can encircle a bunch of other people and and uh, you know finding a script, finding a director, finding actors, and putting them all together and then guiding them. That that's a that's a complicated thing. Sometimes age is a benefit, but if you have that ability as a young person, then, then I would encourage you to try to do it. You know, working for somebody else, you end up being a secretary for three years, and then you've wasted three years of your life. Right. I'm not into that at all. What I always tell uh, young people is, is that um, there's two types of people in Hollywood. The creative people who live in the center, who live and die by what they do, success or failure, and then those people that encircle them that manage and manipulate the people on the inside. And so like Gary had said, you know, he worked at an agency, right? And I worked at an agency too as an entry level job. You learn that from the inside, the oil that runs the machine, right? So now as a producer, I know how to manage and manipulate the agent instead of him manage and manipulating me. You know, things like that. I worked at a broadcast network because I wanted to work in television. Now I know the buyer. It's not just about the show I'm pitching, it's about the buyer and what he really needs, the right thing at the right time, the timing. She. So, or she, thank you very much. So very often it was a she, so thank you. Um, but you know, it's about telling good stories and uh, you know, Marcy Carsey gave me the best advice once. She said, um, always bet on yourself and never be afraid to lose the job going in. And so that's really important too, and so that's what I would tell you. One, one last thing, not to be too long winded, is just really, again, and I think Stu mentioned it, trying to get your hands on a, uh, intellectual property and so it really to kickstart your career a lot of times you need that one script you know or you know that the the rights to a book or something because a lot of times you know um, as as much as we'd love to to mentor people and and swap information you know really when people kind of come to me I said okay well, what do you have yeah. you know and so you know it's best to use that time wisely and wait to approach someone when you really have something that they can get excited about and help you with. That, that's great. I, honestly, you get the five different levels of that. It's wonderful. Thank you.